In lesson five, we're going to take a look at our third construction technique, which is going to be constructing perpendicular lines and angle bisectors. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at your warm up on page 33. So go ahead and use this diagram. Pause the video to take a look at your warm up and see if you can complete it. All right, so in number one on the warm up, you compared the distances of EA and EB. So EA is here, EB is here. So what did we know about those two distances? So hopefully you recognize that they are equal or congruent or the same, whatever terminology you wanna use. And then how do we know? because they're both radii, which again is the plural of radius. Then let's go ahead and compare the length of FB and FA. So here's FB, here's FA. What do we know about those two? Again, we know that they're the same length and justification or explanation would be the same thing as in number one. So they're both radii. Now draw a line. So draw a line EF. So remember a line extends, okay, extends past um, the point. So when you lay your straight edge on, you would extend it. And so draw that line in, and then what do we think that line's relationship is with segment AB? So we're comparing it to this segment. What relationship do we think those have? And so what some people came up with was said, maybe it's in the middle. Okay, so it's in the middle of AB. Some people also, let me fix that. Um, some people also said perpendicular. So EF is perpendicular. to AB, meaning hits at a 90 degree angle. So saw that maybe this right here looks like it's a 90 degree angle. All right, so that's getting us warmed up to take a look at 5.2 at the top of page 34. So um, go ahead and do a couple tries on figuring out if you can construct a perpendicular line that goes through C, remembering a couple of things. So let's take a look at a couple other things we've done before you get started. Whoops, wrong thing. So we have constructed previously a perpendicular bisector. Okay, so we've constructed the perpendicular bisector. So given a segment, we've been able to construct the perpendicular bisector of this segment by opening our compass. and drawing two circles around um, that segment equal to the length of the segment. Okay, so you've done that and then connected those, okay, with a line there and then this line here is the perpendicular bisector. So this one has been the perpendicular bisector splits that right in half. So that's one construction that we've done and I'm just gonna make this smaller here, whoops. Okay, then another um, construction that we have done, oh, actually we have not done the other one yet. Okay, so we've done this one. So now we're trying to get just a perpendicular line through this point. Okay, so instead of being given a line that we're splitting in half, we want to try and figure out how can we get this perpendicular line to go through just any point on the line. So go ahead and try, pause the video, and then you can come back and I'll show you how we do it. 
So in order to do this, we want to find a segment that this is the middle of. So what we want to do is just measure an equal distance to both sides of C. Okay, so if we just draw a little circle around C, what we end up doing is creating this segment right here that C is the middle of. So now if we just construct the perpendicular bisector of this segment, it will go right through C. So in order to do that, whoops, in order to do that, we will just now place our, com our compass right on the intersection of where this circle hit. So we'll open it to the width of this. Remember, just like we did here, opened it to the width of the segment. So we're opening it to the width here and then um, drawing around. And again, we're gonna do this on both sides. Then you'll connect and you will have the perpendicular bisector. So if we connect the, or the perpendicular line that goes through C. So let me just get mine to go through those intersections. You wanna go through with the intersection on each side and then you see that it goes through C. So if we write out some instructions for that, Okay, so step number one was to make a circle with C as the center. Okay, and I'm just gonna make this text just a little bit smaller here. So we did that, then I'm just going to label the intersections for these directions. So label the intersections, intersection points A and B. So I'm going to go ahead and do that on here. So this point right here, I'm just going to call it A. This one right here, I'm going to call B. That's just so that it's easier for you to follow when you're writing these down in your notes. So then we'll go ahead and um, draw that we drew those blue circles okay so draw draw circles or create circles with center a and radius oops let's put a capital center a and radius a b center b and radius a b so those two blue circles centered at a open it to b draw a circle Center it at B, open it to A, draw a circle. Then connect the intersections of circle A and circle B, which is that green line. Okay, so create those. Um, let's do label the intersection points. So I'm just gonna mark these in color so you can kind of follow along too. Okay, so we did that one, then we labeled the intersection points, then we drew these circles around there, which are our blue ones, and then we connected um, the intersections of A and B, which was that green line that went straight through that point. All right, then we're going to look at making an angle bisector. So this one is at the bottom of page 34, so if you look at number one, Okay, and I kind of changed this a little bit. You can do an intersection point. We tried to draw the line that would bisect the angle. So we drew a ray. So draw, try and draw a ray in this angle that you think would split it into two congruent angles. Remembering that congruent means equal. Okay, so you want to draw a ray in this angle that you think will split it directly in half. And then we're going to actually construct it so you can see if you were close. So then another thing that's showing up in direction number two is the definition of an angle bisector. So an angle bisector is just a ray that divides an angle into two congruent angles. So they're using that in step number two or in direction number two of bisect this. So an angle bisector is just an angle that divides, or a ray that divides an angle into two equal pieces. So let's go ahead um, and look at this. So tr you can try it. So pause the video and see if you can construct it. Come up with the construction yourself. Otherwise, here are the instructions. So let's go ahead and follow these instructions. So it says make a circle 
with the center as B. So we're gonna go ahead, make the center B, open this um, compass to whatever size you want. So draw a circle, mark the points where the circle intersects the angle. So I drew this circle here, now we're gonna mark the intersections. So mark those two points here and here. Create two intersecting circles. So again, I'm gonna just label this A and B so that the directions are a little, or not A and B, that's already on there, hang on. Um, D and E. Okay, so I'm gonna put D here and I'm gonna put E here. Then we're gonna create two intersecting circles um, from those new points, okay? So you're gonna open your compass to the intersection. So set it on D, open it to E, draw a circle. Move it to E, draw that same size circle. Okay, so going through each other, that's what going through each other's centers means. Set it on one, open it to the other, draw those two circles. Now it says connect point B through those intersections. Okay, so connect point E through the B, sorry, through those intersections. So see how it's going through this first intersection and that second intersection. Okay, so B straight through those three. This is the angle bisector. So this here split this angle into two congruent pieces. And remember that we show that with that little arc mark. Let me just make these lighter. So that you can see this angle bisector right here. So this is what we were constructing. That's the angle bisector. Splits those two um, angles, or splits that angle into two congruent angles. So again, definition of an angle bisector. This is on page 280 in your workbook back in the um, glossary. So an angle bisector just splits an angle into two congruent pieces. So you see this angle split right down the middle. This piece is congruent to this piece. Um, so taking a look at these two constructions that we did today, what was the first step in each of them? Okay, so the first step in each of them, I'm just going to move this. Whoops, I'm just going to move these down so I can do this a little bit better. But the first step in each of them was to open and create a circle. Okay, so we created this little circle around C so that we found A and B exactly the same distance away from C. I'm just gonna open this just a little bit more. Okay, so we got that one. And then here we did the same thing. We opened a circle, didn't matter the size, around B so that we could create two points that were the same distance away from B, then we created circles from there. Okay, so then step two was to go from these intersection points. So then we went to this intersection point, opened the compass, the width of the intersection, drew circles. Okay, so after you've opened it, then you drew this circle, then you did the same thing on this side, drew this circle, same thing over here, you opened to that intersection. Okay, so open to the width of the intersection, draw the first circle, move it, draw the second circle. And then the final step was to connect the intersections. So this allows us to get points that are the same distance from where we want our line to go. So we wanted E to go through C, so we first had to get two points that were the same distance away, then draw our circles. First get two points that were the same distance from B, then draw our circles, then you'll get your line. All right, then our cool down today, just draw yourself um, an obtuse angle, so a bigger angle than 90 degrees, and then see if you can construct the angle bisector on it. So you can go ahead and pause the video, then you can come back and watch me construct it, see if you did it. So first step, again, should have been opening to any size you want here. Okay, drawing a circle, opening your compass to the width of the intersection. So connecting those two intersection points and then drawing another circle around each of them.
then connecting the intersection of those two circles. Okay, so going through the going through the intersection of those two circles. So you can see mine's off a little bit here, but going through, there you go. Okay, so through this intersection and this intersection, that will go straight through the center. And you really don't need to extend all the way down there. Okay, you can just do it here from B through the intersection. That will create this angle congruent in size to this angle. So in this video, hopefully you've been able to construct a line that's perpendicular to a given line. So in this one, you're given a line and then a point on the line somewhere. Hopefully you can construct a perpendicular line through that and then also create the angle bisector of an angle. So find the array that goes right down the middle of that angle.